Hey guys, welcome back to my custom car builds in GTA 5. Before we get started on this week's build, I just want to thank everybody who's been throwing me suggestions. There's been some really great cars suggested, so keep those suggestions coming in. But in this video, we're going to be recreating the Audi R8 LMS Ultra. So in real life, there's actually a fair few different R8 models. You've got the original R8, which is a uh, V8, and then you've got a whole bunch of different V10s. I think there might even be a V12 version. I was tossing up doing the Audi R8 GT or possibly the R8 V10 by Turbo or even the R8 TDI Le Mans version but I've decided to go for the LMS because it's one of the more ludicrous versions and it's actually a race car I don't think you can buy this as a, as a normal road car. So the R8 LMS was originally designed for the GT3 European Championship and it's a 500 horsepower V10 monster. Because of the GT3 regulations, the LMS is actually a rear-wheel drive car, which is different to the normal R8s, which are usually the four-wheel drive variants, which is fine because in-game, I believe the car is only rear-wheel drive anyway. In-game, the car that most closely represents the R8 is the Obey 9F, and unlike a lot of different cars in Grand Theft Auto V, I don't think there are any other traces of different cars in this. I think it might have been purely based on the R8, but if there's any other influences you think I've missed, be sure to let me know. So in-game it is pretty easy to come by, I believe you can buy it and it's pretty easy to find on the street. So once you've acquired your Obey 9F, we're going to roll it into Los Santos Customs. For the colour scheme on this build, I've gone for a traditional Audi silver colour. And I've actually used the brushed steel colour which is located in metals. And using the pearl glitch, I've put a frost white pearlescent over the top, which makes the silver really sparkle in the sunlight. For the secondary colour, which is those little black highlights on the side of the car, I've just gone with straight up black. For the window tint, I've gone limo as this is the darkest one available. For the wheel type, I've used the dash VIP rims which are found in the high end. And for the wheel colour, we'll go black and that'll match that secondary colour quite nicely. In the wheel accessories, I have put custom tyres on. Obviously the LMS Ultra is a race car and the custom tyres give it that race appearance. In the bumper choice, we don't have a huge amount of options. I believe there's only one for the front and rear. So for the front, we're going to put the custom front splitter on and on the rear, we'll put the custom rear bumpers on. I've left the hood stock. It would be nice if there was some sort of vented options like we see on the real world car. There is a carbon option, but this doesn't really match any of the color schemes I've seen in pictures. Again, in the wing, we've only got one choice. It's the low level spoiler, so we're definitely gonna wanna stick that on. For the exhaust, we're gonna put on the chrome tip as this will give us a single pipe dual exhaust, which is consistent with the real world car. And in terms of all your performance customizations and suspension, just put all of that stuff all the way up to maximum. I don't often see this car driving around in the multiplayer. It's a bit like the Infernus, I think it gets overlooked because there are a lot of other more glamorous cars in the category. But done up with the right modifications, it's actually a pretty good looking car, so I highly recommend going and trying this one out. So as always, I've stuck the customization options in the description field, so you can go and build your own LMS Ultra. If you've got a suggestion for this series, just drop that in the comments section below. But otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later.